why don't we see miracles in the church anymore? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthews, and welcome to Animated Christians, where we talk about the church as well as original content. So you probably have heard in church that we're supposed to perform miracles and do miraculous signs, or you've been taught it's no longer available today. Either way, you will find this video very interesting. So to start, we need to know what a miracle is, and a definition of a miracle is an effect or extraordinary event in the physical world that surpasses all known human or natural powers and is ascribed to a supernatural cause. So looking at this definition, we see a miracle is an effect that is outside our realm of thinking. Miracles come in all strength and sizes, but for simplicity, let's say you had a cut on your knee and then the next day it's completely healed and no human intervention is used you can say that's a miracle or if you gave your last dollar away not knowing if you're going to survive the next day and someone gives you the exact amount of money to live then that can be called a financial miracle now let's look at some scripture in john chapter 14 verse 12 says i tell you the truth whoever believes in me will be able to do what i have done but they will do even greater things because i will return to be with the father well the sad truth is we do not truly believe ourselves we think someone more gifted is required to do these types of tasks but i say unto you the thief are for you and me. Now let's take another look at the scriptures. In Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 through 21 says, Because you have so little faith, I tell you this, if you had even a spark of faith, even faith as tiny as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move here to there and because of your faith the mountain would move. If you had just a sliver of faith, you would find nothing impossible. But this kind is not realized except through much prayer and fasting. Looking at this scripture, we see all we need is faith to believe. But what is faith? A definition of faith is complete trust, confidence, or reliance. In other words, it's saying if you believe with your heart that it can be done, then it will be done for you. All you have to do is ask. For the most part, we do not truly believe in miracles because we have put our trust into man and doctor. Now, I'm not saying don't go to doctors or a dentist. I'm just pointing out the thought process. Another reason we do not believe in miracles or fully is that we want it to be a big show in the church. Like saying what God did in the church. But isn't that being prideful? because a pastor gets the credit for what God did? Unfortunately, that's not how it works. God is not going to make the big show if he does not get the credit. And the church seems to be blind at this fact. While the church waits on God, God waits on the church. So the next time when you get healing at the church, ask yourself this question. Are you wanting the pastor to heal you or God to heal you? Miracles happen only to glorify God's name, not to create a show. We must firmly believe in these things for miracles to happen in your life. But sometimes miracles may come in unexpected ways that you did not anticipate. Now that I have shared this with you, believe in the message that you have the power to heal the sick, raise the dead, because Jesus has given us that authority to do so. But truly believe in your heart and watch what God can do. In Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 through 20 it says, Go out and make disciples in all nations. Ceremony wash them through baptism in the name of the triune God. 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Then disciple them, form them in the practices and postures that I have taught you, and show them how to follow the command I have laid down for you. And I will be with you day after day to the end of the age. So I hope this helps give you a better understanding of miracles. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.